Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I am so fascinated by my first guest this morning. I think that this guy is just amazing. Now, he's known as Dominic the Catman. Yes, that's his real name. He's been performing at Key West Sunset Celebration since 1984. He's among the best of all the wonderful street performers that you will find there. He performs there regularly with his trained cat. Now this man, he is just admired by everyone, from senior citizens to children. He has such a large following of people who truly adore him. I don't think any trip to Key West would be quite the same without catching one of his acts. Dominic, thank you so much oh, for being on the show. Thank you, Gina. Look, <laughs> and I've for got bringing, You Cosette. brought a cat. All right, <laughs> which cat is this, Dominic? Cosette. Cosette. She is my oldest one, uh, 16 years old. 16 years old. Yeah, okay. she grew up with Asker. Uh, Asker, she was two weeks older than, uh, than him. So. Well, this is great, Dominic. First of all, I'm, I'm so happy to have you on the show, and I want to hear all about how you became the cat man. Oh. But by your accent, Dominic, I can tell you're definitely not from here. I am French from A to Z. <laughs> French from A to Z. Z. Okay, well, how did you come to Key West, Dominic? Uh, on invocation first. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I saw the street performers, and back then I was a clown, and I was uh, training my first kitty cat. So I said maybe I should come here to polish the act, mm -hmm. and then uh, go on the road again. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. And after a year, I was here. Somebody hired me to do show all over the country for cat shows. Mm -hmm. So, that so that's how you started with yeah. the cat shows. And then I came back to QS because. Because <laughs> you love Key West, <laughs> yeah. and Key West, of course, loves you, Dominic. Really? How many cats do you have in your uh, show? Now seven cats. Mm -hmm. I used to have uh, uh, nine, now seven. Mm -hmm. Because uh, Asker um, rejoined the universe this year, and Sarah also. Sarah mm -hmm. was 19, and uh, Asker was si almost 16. Almost 16, yeah. okay. And now your cats are all trained, Dominic. Yeah. They're all trained. How, did you train them yourself? I trained them and they trained me to train them. <laughs> <laughs> because the choreography is made uh, by them and by me. Like uh, if they do something on stage, I think it's good. And I, uh, I keep it, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just to work together. Mm -hmm. What is it like performing at Mallory Square every day, Dominic? Pff, I love it because people come to see the show. I used to do Mallory Square. Now I am by the, the Westin Pier, you know, but by it's the, the same. Okay. So some time ago. But uh, yeah, because people love the, uh, the shows and not only, like you mentioned earlier, not only the elderly people, but the, even the three, four years old, mm -hmm. you know, everybody The laugh. little kids, like yeah, I mentioned, little kids, yeah. little kids to Actually, the, citizens. Yeah, the show is not like a circus, like a comedy act, mm -hmm. because like I told you, I was a clown for 15 years. I had an hour one-man show, so my character is like my, my clown act, which was called Who Do You Do? But uh, because I like to, to use the cats and to do my entertainment, mm -hmm. to make people laugh. To make people <laughs> laugh, which is exactly what you do. So have y you're very theatrical, so have you yeah. been involved in theater? All yeah, this is my background. I, I studied uh, drama in Paris mm -hmm. for five years. I studied opera two years, mime at uh, Lecoq School for three years, and uh, modern dance also in Paris. Okay, so, that, so that's your background. Yeah. Now, Dominic, do you ever take days off? Uh, rarely. Rarely? Very, very rarely. I'm, I'm, I'm there uh, every single every day. Night, yeah. And w w tell me about some of the people you've met, Dominic. I met great people uh, from all over the country, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why I talk to them after the show. I spend uh, a few minutes, you know, to talk to them. And uh, amazing people. Mm -hmm. you know, what do they really? think of your cats when they see these cats? I s they say it's not only them, it's you too. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it is. So it I isn't like, just like the that. cats, it's you, Dominic. <laughs> yeah. And we're actually going to be showing a video oh, of good. what you do with your cats. Okay. I mean, they jump through fire, right? Fire, but it's not the most difficult part, and there's some uh, tiny uh, hoops. Mm -hmm. And also, I retrain them to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so people think, oh, they made, they made a mistake. It's spo not supposed to do that. But if they come to the show two or three times in a row, mm -hmm. they do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And they see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they say, oh, wow, it's clever. <laughs> very, very <laughs> clever. OK, we're going to take a quick break right now. But Dominic, you're going to stay with me. And so is okay. your beautiful cat, OK? Because it. We're not right, done yet. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.